Hi, I'm Kara, and this is my Katie story. Well, the Kappa Delta Igni gives you a sisterhood. Gives you this group of women that are going to encourage and uplift one another. And I think that's so crucial in today's society is we need to support one another. And that's exactly what Katie does. I didn't know anyone when I got to Brown and I was this one of two from North Dakota uh, that was in our class and so I thought, okay, well I need a sisterhood. I need a group of women that are going to help support me and I can support them. And so I went through the rush process and Kappa Delta wasn't actually there yet and I didn't see my perfect fit. Being founding member was just such an honor and to know that what I was doing was going to impact the chapter for years to come. At the same time it was difficult because we didn't really know what we wanted to be known for. Um, we knew we were you know, an elite group of women but what was it that we wanted to leave our legacy on that campus. When I was looking at possible sororities to join it was the service aspect that I loved so much about KD and that's one of the parts about being Miss America too. It is a servant leader job and so having that training as a Kappa Delta then just made me that much stronger and that much more ready as a Miss America. You don't want to leave uh, undergrad being in debt and that was my main goal and so I knew when I joined Kappa Delta I would have this opportunity to get scholarships but then I also came here and I saw all of the outstanding women and I didn't know if I would be one to receive it and so I was very grateful for that but just knowing that Kappa Delta is there to support you not only as a sisterhood but also to help give you scholarships to fund that education I think is one of the reasons I'm so proud to be a KD. KD is not just an undergrad experience but it's preparing you for the outside world and it's hard and it's difficult but those challenges you have as a KD just makes you that much more ready. And I left Brown and I realized, you know, I deserved to be here. I did what I came to do and hopefully I'm going to go out into the world and make history and that's exactly what I did. But without that confidence that was instilled with me in KD, I don't know if I'd be where I am today. When I got to Miss America, people just assumed because North Dakota had never had one that I would never be the first one. And I often had that same mentality. I didn't think it would be me. I thought this small town girl, there's no way that she'd win Miss America. Same with getting into Brown. I just didn't think that it would be me. And you have these stereotypes and so many people that are going to push you along the way and think that you can't do it. Uh, but at the end of the day, the only one who limits you is yourself. It's a night I'll never forget. Um, September 10th, 2017, that dream came true on national television. And to know that everyone got to see it happen. You're new. Miss America is Miss North Dakota. In that moment when they said the new Miss America, they said North Dakota. They didn't say Karaman. And I think that's one of the best parts is that this process, there were so many people along the way that helped me get there. And it's so much more than just myself. And so there was so much pride and so much excitement and I made history because I was the first Miss America from the state of North Dakota. And that night I remember thinking of all the young girls that looked up and said, you know, because she did it, I can do it too. I travel about 20,000 miles a month. I change locations about every 48 hours. I went to New York the day after and I was on live with Kelly and Ryan and one of my Kappa Delta, my twin, Michelle, actually waited in line and then got in and she was the first one to greet me as I walked on to Kelly and Ryan. So that was so special and I wouldn't have those connections that weren't for Katie. I just hope that we continue to inspire and to continue making a difference because that's what Kappa Delta is about. I think today, more than ever, we're given a voice. And so my goal is to be the first female governor of the state of North Dakota. If it can't be me and it's someone else, that's great too, but we've never had a female member of the House of Representatives either. And so just to get more women in politics, that's my goal. And I think of any time, this is one of the best times to be a female.